Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into Mad Dog Fishing. Hey, if you're new to the channel, guys, we cover surf fishing and inshore fishing, saltwater, freshwater, it doesn't matter. We like to get out and fish. Now, we're not professionals, but we do the best we can. And when we learn, we pass it on to you guys. So in this upcoming video, we're going to show you how to catch fish in the surf during the summertime. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, it means a lot to us. It really helps out the channel. And if you would, hit that notification button so that you don't miss a single thing. And today we're going to be covering surf fishing. And so we got some upcoming videos. I'm going to show you how to catch bait the, the easiest and most inexpensive ways. From shrimp to ghost shrimp to sand fleas, it doesn't matter. You can come down here and actually catching bait can be fun but we'll talk about that on the next video right now let's do some surf fishing tip that'll help you be successful at uh, surf fishing is getting up early. It is, we got up at 4.30 this morning, we're gonna get some coffee and we're headed to the surf. We gotta get there early. Tip number one. All right guys, we're down here on the water. We got bearded Brad down here today. We, we are fixing to go see what, what we can get on the surf this morning. I mean, hey, we're just hoping for a variety of fish. That's right. And this guy right here, he is a heck of a surf fisherman. Make sure you tune into his channel at Bearded Brad. That's it. Hey guys, you won't regret it, but we're finna get out in the water and let's see how things go. All right guys, uh, he's not down yet, but there's a bunch of action in the surf, so I'm gonna start casting a lure and see what it is. Christian and hooked up this morning. Hooked up early. I ain't even made it down here yet. I'm over here talking with Bearded Brad. What you got? He has got, looks like a bluefish. Bluefish. Gonna be shark bait. Got a nice little bluefish. Yes. I, Hey, pick him up. Let's see him on the camera. Blue, blue fish on the gotcha plug, guys. Christian score. We ain't even set up yet. Here you go. Now they're all in the surf. Tip number two, guys, is using a variety of bait. Uh, we've come out here. We have fish bites. We have two different kinds of fish bites. We have live sand fleas and we have ghost shrimp. Uh, didn't make it to the bait store to get shrimp, but we. But that's enough to get us started. Christian, he's been throwing a gotcha lure, one of our favorite lures in the surf, hooked up to a bluefish already. But <clears throat> sometimes surf fishing, you just never know what you're going to catch, and. Uh, it's, it's just get some baits out there, find out what they're hitting, use different zones for, you know, have some close in, get some out there to the first breakers, and just kind of move your baits around, see what they're biting, and see what they're running. Uh, and, but yeah, tip number two is a variety of bait. We got fish on, we got fish on. What do you think it is? It's a good, good like it. It's a good fish. Either it doesn't know it's hooked, or it's a big old stingray. Yeah, that's a nice. 
nice fish. It's a pretty stiff rod to bend. Brad's hooked up. I'm going to put my... Yep, he's getting a hit down there. We're also, I think, getting a hit on this top. Uh... Hey, go get me the, the fish grip. We're hooked on the handle. Alright, time to peel off my shoes and go after it. I think it's still got some fight left in it. Still pulling drag. I tell you, it's fighting like a big old black drum. It ain't making the fast hard run like a red fish. I haven't even turned it yet. How tight's that drag? Pretty tight. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can't put too much pressure on. I only got, only got 15 pounds of pressure on the first rod. He's getting over there another the line. Yeah. Big old black drum. Big old black drum. They always fun to kick. Starting to go belly up. Yeah. Tighten now up. it's just on these big black drum. When you get them to the surf, you just kind of you're pulling in dead weight. It's important to revive your fish. This one's going to need a lot of reviving. Yep. Woo. That was fun, guys. 
Summertime surf fishing. Summertime surf fishing. The biggest black jump we've ever got. Yeah, that was a PB there. Computer Brad's hooked up. Pompano? Pompano. this morning and uh, guys make sure you go check out his channel I'm gonna leave a link in the description and uh, because this guy he's gonna be a force to reckon with so, competitions heating up out here <laughs> we're all in it together we are a bunch of youtubers out here just having a good time you know it's because we love it it's not about anything else but just a passion and a hobby. I'll bring on the big fish. <laughs> there you go. We got we got black drum this morning. We got blue fish. We got pompano. It's called a hard head. We need a shark, a red fish, and hey, we can throw a lady fish in there. I don't care. But during the summertime, you just don't know what you're gonna catch. And we got a variety of baits out. Yeah, I got fresh dead shrimp and fish bites. And I actually got a cut piece of Spanish mackerel on my shark drive. Okay, he's got a shark rod out. It's Spanish mackerel. I've got ghost shrimp, uh, sand fleas, and fish bites. So we got a variety of baits out. And we're just kind of trying to figure out what, what they're feeding on. Right now they're hitting on a little bit of everything. So that's the key, guys. And that, like I said on that tip number two, is just having a variety of bait and kind of putting something out there to see what they're going to be getting. Guys, hang in there. Hopefully, we're going to get one more before the sun gets up and starts cooking us. Because during the summertime, it gets hot quick. You can make sure you bring your sunscreen. You can uh, use these face shields, hat, uh, beach umbrella. And I, I'm going to apologize in advance because I know the wind's killing this mic. We lost our uh, wind slayer. I don't know what happened to it. I think the cat ate it. Anyway, guys, hang in there for some more action. Rita Bragg got a nice little shark. I am not up on my shark species. I'm gonna grab some pliers, actually. It's kind of like a baby thresher. I just want to make sure I'm safe. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah. Might be a little baby thresher. Has a long tail. Christian thinks maybe a thresher shark. Maybe. I do not know very much about shark species. If y'all do know what this is, make sure you drop a comment down below. That's what we got there. 
cruising right through the surf right here. Little bitty ones, maybe two foot long. Uh, you can use small pieces of shrimp right here at the breakers and catch them. They're fun to catch. Now. Anyway, we'll see you. See you in a minute. Well guys, summertime surf fishing has not let us down. It's been four weeks since I've been on the surf and we came out here and we did great. We caught a variety of fish. Had bearded Brad with me. He was down there. He was catching pompano and shark. We were catching black drum, like I said earlier. Guys, just getting out and having fun. That's what it's all about. I want to thank you for tuning in to Mad Dog Fishing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to check out Bearded Brad's channel. Uh, he's new to YouTube, but he's trying to get kicked off, and he's a phenomenal surf fisherman. Thank so be sure, be sure to check his channel out. And uh, Show him some love. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you having me out here today. It's a fun time. And it was, I had a great time too hanging out with him. And uh, just a phenomenal, humble guy. Like I said, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. And we're going to wrap it up today. But guys, be looking for my next video when I show you how to catch your own bait here in Gulf Shores from Sam Fleas, Ghost Shrimp. Uh, Manhattan mullet, just a variety of bait and the equipment you'll need. So be looking for that video and thanks for watching.